Hey guys, it's me, Kaká Daoud. I'm here at Futech USA. We just came back from Maryland where we just like set the new world record for four cylinders. I want to show you guys what I run on my car. And you guys must know that I run like Futech. And this is like FT600 is the only computer that I have on my car. With the FT600, I control like everything. I'm talking about like fuel ignition, boost controller, brake controller, traction control, uh, all the water pumps, uh, data logging, everything. So this is the only computer that runs on the car for everything. And this is the computer itself. There's no other box, nothing like that. When we start like talking what it control uh, on ignition, I run the FT Spark 4. It's the CDI ignition up to 600 milliJoules in this is like extreme, like a lot, lot of energy on, on, on ignition. I think we can go like as rich as you can imagine on fuel and this will never misfire, okay? With that, we run the a few tech CDI coils. That's like the best coil for ignition when you run the FT Spark 4, okay? Uh, talking about reach and fuel, I run the wideband the, with the Bosch sensor, on, with this wide band, you, I can, I'm able to read up to like 0.28 on lambda. Uh, I'm used to like tune the car on lambda, and 0.28 is something like extremely rich. Uh, the good thing about the wide band is that it, this is a CAN bus communication with the FT600, so you're going to use an input on, F, uh, on the FT600. To, to read and to data log uh, uh, and to do all the compensations, the closed loop, the target, everything on, on, on as fuel, not using any input of uh, FT600, just the CAN bus. And this is also like a standalone, so you can run the wideband in, in any car, that works fine. Um, here we have five travel sensors, and obvious four of them are for the shocks, two on the front struts, two on the back, but I also run another one on the steering rack. So it helps me to see if I'm like turning the steering wheel, I should not turn or the car is doing something weird. So it helped me tune the chassis, making the car go straight every pass, okay? Uh, one very good thing is like, this is a, like a solid state relay that I use to control my brake my staging control and my brake pressure. I just like set it up on the FT600, how much brake pressure I wanted and this pulls and we set it up the correct brake pressure on a starting line. This is the dual valve, dual valve a boost controller from Futech, which I use to control the boost on the car. Uh, this is very, very precise, I can add CO2 on top of waste gates at the line, I can make more boost on the line, uh, I can plot the curve, whatever I wanted. For sure, I do like everything on the 600, and the 600 is attached to the dual valve block kit, and it makes the boost curve like perfect, okay? Uh, those are two uh, temperature sensors, which I use to log and to do compensations on water temperature and the air temperature. Here, I have, this is what I run on my car. This is an eight magnet collar for the drive shaft RPM. This I consider like one of the most important sensor in the car. I can log my drive shaft RPM on like 200 Hertz, which give me like a, a very precise and nice curve of the drive shaft. And that curve is I use it to run all the traction control functions of the FT600. So I can set up limits, I can add more power, I can remove power based on the drive shaft RPM. Also, we, I have here, I run on this car like eight pressure sensors. There are like oil, fuel, uh, wastegate pressure for the boost controller, back pressure of the turbo. Uh, I also run one of those before the intercooler so I can compare if the intercooler is like restricting flow from 
uh, the in and out of the intercooler. One of these also works together with the solid state relate to control the brake pressure. And there's another one which I use a lot to tune the motor is the pen vacuum sensor. So that's very important to see how, health the, how healthy the motor is during the pass. Here, it's very important, like this, we have like the AGT-8 can. This is, uh, this one I use, I use uh, like only four ports of the eight ports available uh, to, re to, to record and log all the EGTs on the exhaust, okay? All the sensors are here. Those sensors are like really, really good. And they are fast reading, they are reliable. You can go like extreme temperature and they work like very, very good, work flawless ever. Like never had an issue. No. Another thing like about the EGT-8 is that this is like a CAN bus communication to the FT-600, just like the wideband we mentioned before. So you're not consuming any input with all those four or up to eight temperatures that you want to log. You can also log here, like if you do a, 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 a thermocouple, uh, you can log like air temperature or you can log water temperature to one of those eight inputs available of the EGT CAN 8. Here, uh, this is like something inter interesting. On my car, I run three injectors per runner, per intake runner. One is a primary and I have two as secondary. So for the, for the primary, I run a 4A1A, which can control up to four Siemens Indeca injectors. But like on secondary, I run just one pick and hold, the 8A2A. And this, with this, I can run the two extra injectors of like the secondary injectors so they post together two at the same time so that's why we need to run the 8828a one very cool thing also is the switch panel the switch panel is hooked up on the on a ft600 through the can bus there's no other switch or button that i need to press on a card i can start the car i can uh start logging i can like finish logging, I can like select my burnout mode, I can turn out the water pumps the way I want it, uh, and, and everything like I program the process of the system through the FT manager on the FT600. So guys, this is what I use on my world record braking car, and actually this would be like the same Ultimate package for a 13B rotor engine, but definitely Fuetech has a sort of different packages to fit your application. Thanks for watching and remember, Fuetech everywhere.